Well, hello, um, hello everyone and uh, 3D print makers. Uh, I've been meaning to uh, make a, a progress report on how I've been going with my printer. And uh, somehow I just uh, didn't get around to it. Anyway, uh, here are some of my uh, recent print. I've been trying to do these uh, whistles. This is a V29 which I got from Thingiverse. But the problem is, there is, uh, you can't uh, print it with supports. So the supports have to be cleaned out from the inside. And if, you, if your settings are not right, then you have all sorts of uh, stringing taking place inside. And then it's difficult to clean it out. And it doesn't, doesn't uh, blow very well. And uh, I'm, I did uh, two attempts at that. But otherwise, it's printing fine. And uh, these are some other whistles also from Thingiverse. Now here you see the back because it, there's no supports. I'll just wait for it to focus. It, uh, it gets a very jagged surface. So I redesigned it so that the angle is more vertical. So that would probably help it print better without supports so you can see here the angle is a bit more steeper and here is my final whistle Now this is just as it printed. <laughs> it had a lot of stringing and I, I'm not sure what's causing that. But I, uh, I uh, have just left it as it is and it blows perfectly. <laughs> so I've got to clean it all out, but it still blows without even cleaning out the stringing. Anyway, that's enough of the fun. Now, uh, to get down to business, I wanted to talk about blocked nozzles. 
Now this is a nozzle and I had a few blocked nozzles and it's a bit of a nuisance to uh, clean it out because you've got to dis disassemble everything and take out the the filament from this uh, PTFE tube and then you've got to heat up the thing but sorry about that so I will now uh, show you the best way to clean them is what you need is this an air blower and with that you don't have to use the heater on the on the printer you can heat up the you can disassemble the hot end and heat up the nozzle and this is my set of tools that's all you need it's just a, a plain pin with a point now the reason for that is over here I'll show you a cross section of the actual nozzle you will see that the point four diameter hole in the front is only a very small area is only a small, very small distance less than a millimeter so all you need to do is to push this pin into that it's not focusing hole and I use all the clothes hangers with a bit of uh, the wire is 1.7 millimeter and that pushes down through the back of the hole see there and that's how you clean the nozzle you, of course you hold this with the pliers which I don't have here while it's while you're heating it with the hot air gun that hot air gun and and you of course you you might need a few uh, drill bits and things so I keep all the things together anyway uh, here is my uh, spooler and that was printed this uh, it's amazing what a difference the different filament makes with this filament you're getting much I'm getting much better prints and I uh, reprinted this bracket for the bed leveling sensor because the old one was a bit not very strong and I added a, a rib at the back to strengthen it also reprinted that fan guard so anyway that that's just a little bit of a summary of what where we are thanks for watching and uh, subscribe below if you if you want to see more tips okay bye for now